All right, everybody, we're out here walking behind the school. Um, against my better judgment, but Odin hasn't been in a walk in quite a while, and he was getting squirrely, so it's only 12 degrees, which I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm all bundled up. He seems to be doing fine. I'm not sure how much I can film because my hands are going to get cold, but I'll switch over to him. We're walking on a thin crust of snow here, it looks like. It's been pretty cold. It was a pretty bad windstorm for about a day or two, so I'm not sure what kind of blowdown we're going to encounter out here. It seems to be... So it's 12 degrees, I don't know if I mentioned that already. 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Light snow. Now we're about halfway now, and he seems to be moving right along. That's good. There's some tracks in here. I'm not sure what these are. Could be a dog. They're old, but there's some human tracks in here too. Going the opposite way that we normally do, so those aren't our tracks. Now he's headed up the spur trail that goes, makes this a little bit longer, but we're not doing that. Yeah. Too cold for that, buddy. We'll go back this way. Oh. oh bit it. Oh, ice water. Snow's picked up a little bit. So that is the uh, other end of that trail that he wanted to go down. We just came, so this is the wire right here. I don't know if you can see it on the left. The trail he wanted to go down on the right here. That's the trail we just came from. I don't know, it adds, I don't want to say it's a quarter of a mile, but this whole thing I think is like a half a mile. I'll have to double check. I've, I've, used a mileage tracker on it before I can't remember how far it is uh, from the car all the way through across the field and back uh, but it's shorter than if we were to walk around the block by the house which is just over uh, a mile it's 1.01 miles but can't do that in the winter because the roads aren't the sidewalks aren't shoveled and the roads aren't plowed very well it's just dangerous a little pond over there I'm not going to go down there because we'll go in it and then go through the ice and then we're going to have one heck of a mess. <laughs> this is also the cross country track for the, for the local high school and I've mentioned in other videos it's the pond. Uh, I think those are markings for, for the running and they got markings on the trees for running. Uh, they also um, do maple sugaring in here, so that'll start up I think in a couple of months. There's another side trail. I think we've taken that one before, I just don't remember where it goes, so I don't want to go too far. And there, he's starting to slow down a little bit, but that's not unusual about this point of the hike. We're almost to the uh, outside, Get right back across the field. So that little, there was a tree back here that had fallen for a while and I, I think that spur trail rerouted around that tree. But they've since cut the tree up. So we're coming back, it's a pretty mixed forest but we're coming back out now out of the deciduous trees into the this section here is pretty much pines it's nice to get the different varieties when you're out here you 
got some birch over there. Pine overhead, overhead. Not as good with the trees as I used to be. I used to know most of the trees up here, but I've forgotten them. And the snow's picked up pretty good. Yeah. And he's wandered off somewhere. There he is. What are you doing, buddy? You're crazy. Some crazy dog. Find the tracks. We do see deer tracks in here. We used to see deer when we come up towards dusk, but they don't seem to be around much anymore. We used to see them almost every time. I don't know if they got used to him coming up and they decided they weren't going to be around or what. But every now and then you'll hear one in the woods. You get all these little. I don't know if the school planted these or what, but they look planted. I don't know if they're spruce, maybe spruce or balsam, but there's definitely look planted in the right in rows. But now we're getting ready to head out across. This gets pretty brutal here in the wind, so occasionally some kids will ride their dirt bikes on here. I don't know if they're supposed to or not. So that trail, they'll probably show up so many times, but. Uh, for new people that trail goes basically intersects with where we entered the woods and this one will go right down to the main road uh, which runs through town with this giant pine there so this is the football field and the soccer field and baseball field so way down there I don't even know if you can see it in that corner way down is where we went in. And this road. They come out down here. Let's see if I can get a better look on it. That brown building. So the phone died on me there. <laughs> it was too cold. Uh, uh, I was pretty warm. Bowden seemed to do all right. I'm wearing my. Uh, you can see that my black rock uh, down hat. That thing keeps me pretty warm. Sometimes I got to pull it up to vent it. Uh, and I have my North Face. Uh, I don't know, I think it's a Summit series, but it's got the zip-in uh, fleece. I've had this for a while, it's about time for a new one because this one's all, all tore up. Odin, Odin jumped on it and sliced it like a... I don't know if you can see it up here. Sliced it, it's like a knife with his claws a while back and I kind of pasted it together, but he's back there wanting me to put the window down even though it's freezing cold. He likes to, he doesn't care. So that took us about a half an hour, uh, which, is, which isn't bad. That was my fault. I was going slower than he was, breaking through the ice, the snow, and whatnot. Um, but he uh, he did all right. Got in the car okay. He's getting having a hard time getting in and out now, but he I help him and he he did all right. So we're getting ready to head home. So that was a 12 degree. Fahrenheit walk in the woods, but we did all right. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.